Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Quick Expert Reviews. Today we're going to have a quick peek, unboxing and a review of the S8 Duo. That's the S8 and S8 Plus. Um, I'm going to do it as a one video, um, so no two, two separate videos or anything like that. Uh, but I'll try and do it as fast as possible. Um, so yeah, let's start with the S8. Um, so yeah, so the S8 available in here. Um, the S8 available in here, that's in orchid grey colour. Um, that's the one we've got here in UK. It's a 64 gig model, uh, but obviously you can expand the memory uh, with a memory card if you'd like to. Um, bear in mind it's a demo handset, uh, which means that obviously you do get the pin and you do get the um, leaflets like the quick start guides. Um, just shows you um, more or less how to operate the handset and what the package content includes and everything which I'll show you in a sec anyway. <clears throat> the warranty cards, the regional lock guide because it's a European handset so European lock only um, and then how to transfer content to your new Galaxy phone uh, so I'll show you that in a sec. So then we've got the charger, uh, it's an adaptive fast charging so it's uh, with the S7 you had to buy it separately now with this one you've got it in the box um, then we do have the um, fancy USB type C to a standard um, USB adapter that's also in the box and um, so that's quite clever if you want to connect anything now if you want to connect for example even your keyboard or anything like that you can do that via this adapter then we've got another adapter which is uh, quite similar to the one that's shipped with the uh, Huawei P10 and that's a micro USB to a type C so if you've got an S7 and you want to transfer content from the S7 to the S8 uh, via wired connection you use that um, adapter and then the rest of the content you've got the cable in here uh, which is a standard micro uh, sorry not micro it's a it's a standard USB type C to a USB cable so again if you want to you can um, Use that for charging, for transfers and everything else. And here's the phone. So potentially being a demo phone, it comes with a screen protector on the back and on the front. So let's peel it off. Um, so this is the S8. This is the 5.8 infinite display um, handset. As you can see, it is quite infinite. Um, yeah. So that's 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 it. That's that's the main um, handset. So, yeah, the first thing that you notice is that you've obviously got the uh, digital buttons. Um, so <clears throat> you don't have any back or multitasking buttons, physical buttons. You've got them on display. Now it took me a while to be honest to find out how to get to the apps section, and you do that by simply uh, swiping up. And this is where you get the apps, all the apps that are on the handset. Um, so if you want to do, go to the camera, you've got the camera. Um, obviously phone clock, uh, yeah, the phone still makes the phone calls. Um, if we go to settings and let's have a look at the software information. Yep, it ships with 7.0. Samsung Experience, I presume that's the new name of the uh, user interface um, that's 8.1 uh, as you can see the screen is absolutely marvelous like the, 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 the size the screen to uh, body um, size is absolutely marvelous uh, then you've got connections so it's like a hub so you've got the Wi-Fi Bluetooth phone visibility to other handsets uh, mobile hotspot and tethering to other um, devices and so on <coughs> um, on the side of the handset you've obviously got a power button now on the other side you've got the bixby button so that's the intelligent assistant uh, made by samsung that's on the left side and you've got a volume rocker up down on the left side as well you do have a headphone jack on the bottom which is uh, <laughs> a brilliant addition yay we've got a headphone jack 
uh, but again as it's a demo handset uh, obviously it's not shipped with the AKG um, headphones you've got the fingerprint sensor on the back um, you've got the single LED flash and a camera which is what they said it's a bit improved over the S7 um, camera but I think if it's if something is the best you don't improve it even further I, I presume that's that's what Samsung thought when um, doing the S8 yes all right oh, actually yeah let's go through the S8 new features so infinity display enjoy the full cinematic experience so the actual display has a ratio of, um, so the ratio of the handset is 18.5 uh, by 9 so it's not your standard 16 by 9 uh, ratio it is quite improved uh, but then again you don't have an 18.5 by 9 tally at home do you <coughs> which is quite interesting um, apart from that uh, bear in mind that there are there is no physical home button so again like I said it is um, always on display the display resolution is 1440 by 2960 so it's QHD plus um, they also call it HDR plus so if you do use amazon you can uh, stream some hdr plus content like you will be able to on the exit premium however it's not a 4k display uh, like for example on the exit premium um, then the on the smaller handset you've got a 3000 mAh uh, battery it's fully waterproof uh, water resistant as they prefer to say and it's dust resistant ip68 um, but like I said, the, 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 the additional feature of being having a um, um, and headphone jack is absolutely uh, marvelous. The phone is quite slim as well when, when, you, when, you, when you look at it. Uh, it's not that different from the S7 Edge um, in regards to thickness, but it's very light as well. Um, so yeah, that's the S8 and now let's have a look at the S8 Plus. Um, yeah, so this is the S8 Plus, this is the S8, as you can see the size difference is quite noticeable. Uh, but then again, uh, when you consider, when you do like a rectangle um, in here, so you forget about the side displays and you forget about the uh, rounded corners, this is 5.8, but it's actually 5.6 inch, and this is 6.2, but it's, um, when again you do a rectangle, it's um, a 6 inch screen. So, spec-wise, the same handset, 64 gigabyte internal memory, um, four gigabytes of RAM. Now, in UK or at least in O2, you get a um, Exynos processor. You don't get the Snapdragon, so it's the custom uh, in-house built processor made by Samsung. Um, obviously, both phones have an expandable memory. Now. If we go to the video section, let's have a look at some videos. I just want to see how loud it is. Yeah, thanks. Video enhancer, gesture controls. Yep, no one's ever going to use that. Okay. So as you can see, you see that the screen doesn't go where the uh, rounded corners are. It's not spread across the whole um, display, but it is quite loud. Okay, turn on autoplay next. Um, yeah, why not? Whoops! Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we all did that. Okay, multi window. So that's an actual, yeah, so if you press. Um, the multitasking button, you can obviously do the multi window, which is quite. Uh, useful in my opinion. I mean, if you've got a Nougat handset, uh, a handset that's running an Android 7.0 Nougat, you can do that anyway, but um, it was always very useful on the Samsung devices before even announced or shown by um, uh, Google. So let's go back to the videos. Infinity Display 1. Okay, this looks quite interesting. And let's actually, let's play the, the video on both handsets. 
Um, gallery. Okay, no. Let's do a video. Video, video, video. So, yeah. So you can see the actual difference between the two screens if you're actually planning on playing uh, videos. Looks all right. It actually looks all right. Um, so, like I said, the main difference between the two handsets is the, the actual screen size and obviously the price. Um, so let's go to the camera. I really want to see what they've changed in the camera. Maybe not my ugly face. Um, thank you. So let's have a look. Okay, so we've got the auto mode, pro mode. This is quite looks quite similar to the um, S7 Edge. So that's the pro mode. So you've got the ISO value, the shutter speed, um, filters, autofocus, white balance and exposure value so yeah quite that's probably okay so that's out of focus area metering flash obviously and then you've got the actual settings so yeah it actually does look like a camera moved straight from the s7 and s7 edge tracking out of focus so again something that huawei p10 p9 XZ, Sony XZ, Sony XZ Premium, Sony X Compact does. So we just tap the object and it tracks, tracks it all around. Uh, okay, secure folder. That's interesting. So that's probably something. Keep prying eyes away from your private files and apps with secure folder only. You can access the private pictures. Oh, <laughs> so you've got naked pictures of your wife. Um, that's a place for you to. Did I actually say that? Yeah, unfortunately. Okay, so what's music? Okay. Ah, right. So you can see that there is some sort of processing happening when you do actually um, zoom in on the picture. So it's probably, yeah, it's taken as like more clarity. Um, so in regards to the size of both hands side by side, Again, quite impressed. Now, what's 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 clever is that. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I've uh, you can probably see I've been using the phone a lot, but there's not that many finger marks. So, apart from having obviously Gorilla Glass Five, it's pretty nice to see that it uh, the oleophobic oleophobic thank you <laughs> coating does its job pretty well. So, Discover S8. Let's have a look. So, multi window, infinity display obviously iris scanner i forgot to mention so uh, it's interesting because it works way better than the one that it was um, shipped with the lumia 950 i can't tell you much about the note 7 obviously because the note 7 has been recalled but yeah the one on the lumia 950 as soon as you started walking down the street or whatsoever obviously your hand is shaking and you're like oh my god it cannot scan my iris and now this works pretty well uh, bigsby uh, which is how samsung call it's it's a intelligent personal assistant uh, but obviously it is quite some, uh, something very similar to the um, Android Google Assistant and um, Apple Siri. So front-facing camera 8 megapixel as opposed to the one uh, 5 megapixel on the S7 so that's an upgrade. Um, wireless charging built into the handset like the previous one uh, so yeah, you can see LTE card 16, which will probably come into UK in the next century or something. Uh, bear in mind we've launched 4G two years ago, so uh, not that a lot of people will benefit from that. But it's good to know that the Exynos uh, actually does um, support that, because I thought it's only Snapdragon 835 that does that. Then you got the search phone and so on. Um, what? Yeah, so you still have Google now. Oh, sorry, Google Assist. Oh, wow, wait a minute. You need an internet connection to use the Google Assistant. Okay, so it does ship with a Google Assistant. Um, so, yeah. There you go. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.